Hi everyone, so today I want to show you the next version on from this one. So this is version 2 that I'm going to be showing you. So this is obviously version 1. So we had this one, which I've called the double tucked uh, corner fold card. Sorry, the sing the tucked corner fold card. Um, so obviously that was my sample card that I made. That was the one that I did a week or so ago. And so I thought we'd move on from that and we'd do a double one. So this is the double one. So as you can see, it's just on both sides. So this also is a six by six card and it fits into an envelope for a six by six card. I've gone ahead and uh, just decorated it up as a new home card. Um, and these embellishments were from China. Um, I will try and put a link below if, if they're still available, if I can still find them, but you could just use anything. Um, the papers that I've used were from an old um, Dovecraft pad. And it's just this one here. It was called Happy You. And it's all like rose gold and stuff and glitters. Really nice. As you can see, when I bought it, I bought it discounted. It was reduced down from $14.99 to $9.99. And they did it in a 12 by 12 I think they did an 8 by 8 and a 6 by 6 I don't know if it's still available. If it is, I'll leave a link down below. So, yeah, so that's the card we're going to do. So, let's get into it. Okay, so for this card, you're going to need... Um, base cards, you're going to need three pieces that are six by six. Okay, now we're going to start with um, the one that's in the middle, that's slightly different. And what you want to do with this is you want to let me find my piece of ruler. done. Here it is. So, what you want to do is take a ruler and a pencil, and you're going to mark along the top, you're going to mark at two inches and four inches. And then you're going to mark from the top down the left hand side two inches and from the top down the right hand side two inches and then just draw lines across there and then what we need to do is we need to then go ahead and cut along these lines so you should end up with that and it looks a little bit like a house okay so we're going to put that to one side we'll come to that in a minute so then you want your other two pieces now on these you want to bring in your, um, well, before we bring the scoreboard in, you might do well to do your diagonal score line, first of all. I don't remember from the single version, if you've seen the single version, that you need a diagonal score line. So since we have a six by six, um, it's kind of better to do your diagonal score line now, because then you'll be able to see where you are scoring to when you do your, your other, other score lines. So on one of them, you want to go from the bottom left to the top right, and from the other, from the top left to the bottom right. Obviously, it doesn't matter, you can move it all around. I'm just going to score like this and then move it round before I do my next lot of score lines. So I'm just going to score diagonally like that, and like that. And I've gone slightly off here, I haven't gone quite to the corner, so I will probably have to override that score line in a bit. Okay, so... So then what you want to do is just make sure that one of them goes that way around and one of them goes that way around. OK, so now we need to bring in our scoreboard. OK, so we're going to deal with the left hand one first. OK, ignore this score line. I did the score line, but it's wrong. So turn it round. So at the moment you've got the diagonal line going from the top right hand corner to the bottom left. If you turn it clockwise like this, you then want to score at two inches. And you want to score up until you hit the diagonal line and if you turn it clockwise again you're going to score at four inches and you're going to go down until you hit that diagonal line okay so let's turn it back around again so ignore this line this is me making a mistake so ignore that so you've got the diagonal line going up the middle then you've got this one here and this one here so this should be a four by four inch square okay so we're going to do the same on the other piece okay so on this piece here the diagonal line goes from the top left to the bottom right. So we're going to turn it anti-clockwise. And then we're going to score four inches along and across. So that should be that should measure four inches. And I'm just going to turn it around again. And then we're going to score it two inches and bring it around like that. Okay, so basically again, you've got that four inch square in the bottom right hand corner. So that's all the scoring we need to do. OK, so we've got both of our pieces of card. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start with a diagonal fold. So we're just going to fold it in half diagonally. Obviously, our score line will help us. 
just make sure obviously that it is scored properly so i'm kind of going more with the you know i'm trying to go more with the um lining it up and just letting that score line help me and then what we want to do is we are then going to fold these in so this then needs to be a valley fold so let's just fold that back and then this also needs to be a valley fold here now this is quite thick card this is like 300 gsm so i think i'm probably pushing it a little bit but anyway that's what we've got so we're going to fold that down like that now as you can probably see it's not completely marrying up there so let's there we go so you should end up with that okay and you want this triangle bit to come into the middle okay so you probably recognize that from when we did the single card so it's basically that whole half that section okay on the side so then we're going to do the same again but the other way around mirrored image on this piece here so i'm going to go ahead and fold it in half diagonally again and then i'm just going to fold this top section in a just a, as a as a valley and then this needs to be a valley too as does this so we're just going to coax it so if you've got really thick card like i have just give it a coax first and then it should all fold down properly there we go like that and that should give you your other side so there's your two sides so now what we're going to do is take the connecting piece which is this one if you want to you can cut two of these out and this is basically going to stick in the back there like that and those bits are going to stick on the back um, you might actually want to do a second piece of this just to cover the back section so you haven't got to see this bit here because I'm actually going to be writing on the back um, so my message will go on the back so those two go on there like that so we're going to go ahead and stick that down I'm going to use wet glue for this just because then I've got a little bit of wiggle room and get it in the right place and not have to worry So that is going to go in there like that. There we go. Just make sure that lines up along the bottom. And then we'll do the same on this side. Okay, so there you have your card base ready to go. So as you can see, it's just literally a double version of what we had. Don't worry about this line here that I made a mistake on because I'm going to cover that up anyway, so you're not really going to see it. So that's what it looks like when it's cold, when it's folded down flat. And then that's when it stands up, it's like that. Or you can open it up a little bit more, have it more like that if you want. And to me, it looks a little bit like a shirt. So you could actually do quite a good men's, men's card with this if you wanted to. You could almost have it like this is the, the jacket collar. You could do a shirt inside here and then this could, could be, I don't know, maybe the waistcoat or just, I don't know, part of the shirt or, yeah. So I might do a men's one at some point, but um, but yeah, so it looks like it lends itself to be a men's, a men's card. Right, so to decorate, for this you are going to need, let's do the middle bit first. So this bit here in the middle. This bit here, you're going to need a matte piece that's five and three quarters by five and three quarters and a pattern that's five and a half by five and a half. And as we did with the single piece, the uh, single tuck fold, we just cut one corner off, but this time we're doing both sides. So it's exactly the same as before. So if you turn over on the back, what I've done is I've measured from this bottom section up three and three quarters, and from this right section along three and three quarters, and then joined it up. And then for this mark here, I've measured from the left over the top three and three quarters, and from the bottom up, three and three quarters, made a mark, join them up. So now we're just going to go ahead and cut those off. So if we turn that over, that will then fit on there like that. Now for our pattern piece, we're going to do the same again as we did before. So we're going to measure up this bottom side here, three and five eighths, I believe it was. Let me just measure that to make sure. 
yeah so measure up three and five eighths and then from the right hand side across the top three and five eighths draw a line and then on this side measure from the left across the top three and five eighths from the bottom up three and five eighths draw a line and then again just going to cut these off okay so i'm going to go ahead now stick my pattern paper onto my mat and then stick the whole thing into the back section there Okay, so we end up with that, so that's cool. Right, so now for this bit here, you need to get yourselves um, one mat piece that is three and a half by three and a half, and one pattern piece that is three by three. And what you want to do is you want to cut them in half diagonally. So I've already done one of them because I wanted to cut the edge. There's not a whole square, as you can see. I wanted to cut the um, corners off. And then this is actually a three and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to go and cut this in half diagonally. So now I'm going to go ahead and put these two onto these two triangles here. Okay, so that's what you should end up with. So then when you fold it down, those two pieces um, stand forward like that. Okay, so then we're going to do these two pieces here. And again, this is exactly the same as what we did on the single. It's just that you have to flip for the other side. So you have to cut them off the other side. So for this, you're going to need two mat pieces that are one and three quarter by five and a half and two pattern pieces that are one and a half by five. Um, on the mat piece, if I turn that over, what we're going to do again, the same as before, we measure up three and three quarter up the what would be the right hand the left hand side on the other side left hand side and then go from that mark up to the opposite corner and the same on the other one but just in the other direction okay so once we've done that we then just want to cut those off so that's your mat pieces and then your pattern pieces that are one and a half by five again same measurements as before so you're measuring up three and five eighths up this side make a mark and then go up to the corner and then the opposite on this one same again and then we're just going to cut that off and then stick our patterns onto our mat layers now you might find like i have here you've got it's not quite even um i discovered that one after i stuck it down this one i managed to rectify it but just check it before you stick it and if you need to trim a little bit you can to be honest it's going to be quite a busy card so it's not going to matter too bad um, it's a shame that's like that but whatever i'm going to go ahead and stick this down onto the front okay so there we go that's the card decorated with our pattern panels so now we just need to go and add whatever elements you want to add now i'm using um these die cut shapes uh, creative path is the name of the people who made it and it's called tranquil place i actually got these i think they were from china um i think it was like aliexpress or something like that but i just quite like them so um i got them but they weren't that expensive either and then i've got some little some flowers which i thought maybe might go on the front there and i've got some trees and some houses so i'm going to go ahead now and just arrange these and stick them all down Okay, so I went ahead and just added, I added a few more bits actually. So when I added a few more bits, I thought it probably looks quite good as a new home card. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've just added a few more bits on it. So that's what we've got. And so obviously it folds flat. I'm not going to fold it completely down because some of the glue's not dry, but it folds flat like that. Um, and the footprint of it is six by six. So it will fit in an envelope for a six by six card. Um, yeah, and then you've got space to write on the back. And one thing I will do, I think, is I'm going to put a piece on the back there um, so I can write my message. So it will be exactly the same measurements as what you did for this piece on the back here, as I mentioned earlier. 
but yeah so i hope you liked it um hope you like the card please like and subscribe don't forget to leave a comment down below hit the notification bell so you never miss a video um become a member if you'd like to hit the join button just below the screen and uh yeah we'll see you next time bye